Hello everyone, um, my last video was about an unboxing of this Mac and this video is going to be more about software, what it can do. So here's the specs of the Mac right here. Yeah, I know I went over them before in the last video. And I've been installing quite a bit of software on it so far. Uh, so quite a bit of room left though. Some of the apps that I've installed. Got down here World of Warcraft. I've got Steam. Pretty much, I got all the World of Warcraft games uh, or Blizzard games. Sorry. Um, got Bioshock. Got Minecraft. Got Guild Wars 2. You can see we got Hearthstone from Blizzard. I even got uh, Maya. I'm going to be getting 3D Max later. And then we also have Bastion. Um, so let's get into some of these games. Okay, so the first game we have up is Diablo 3. Here, I'll show you guys the settings that I'm running it at. We have it on full screen, we have it on uh, 1986 by 1230. Um, a lot of games when you go full, um, the full retina display option, um, it's pretty taxing. So I just go with the regular standard HD, and then all the rest of the settings mostly are on high, except for shadow qualities on medium. These are just the default settings that came with. Remember, this is running the, the NVIDIA 750M GPU. <clears throat> Share the FPS down at the bottom, we're getting about 40. Go kill some monsters. Sorry if I'm clicking here. Playing with one hand because I gotta hold the camera. And the FPS is staying above 30 on these settings. I don't really sense a uh, lag or anything. <laughs> yeah, there we go, there's a pack of rares down pretty easily. So I definitely can handle Diablo 3 on good set. I probably could crank the settings even more. Just for a test though, let me show you what happens when I do crank up that resolution to the max. Definitely gonna drop about 22 FPS. And let me turn off. If you hear a fan going, that's my fan cooler that I got from Cool Master. Yeah, they haven't really revved up. It's not getting hot or anything. That's a good sign. Definitely some stutter though, for sure. Dropping to about 15, 17 FPS, and there's definitely stutter. But I guess if I let's see if we lower down the settings from high, I mean, this is to be expected of such a high resolution, though. It's pretty impressive that this is able to play it. Anywhere from 10 to 8 FPS increase, but putting it on low. Let's go try to kill some more monsters without getting my bone curved. Luckily, I'm actually a gamer and I actually have gear on this character. Mm. 
we're getting about down to 20, 21 instead of the 15, so a little improvement, not much, but definitely still playable in this resolution. Alright, I'll hold tight and I'll boot up another game. Alright, well here's some World of Warcraft. We have it at the 1920 by 1200. We have it on high settings, full screen mode. We're in Pandaria, pretty taxing area. We're getting about 35, 34 frames per second. Playing around. Pretty much all the Blizzard games are standard around this. I mean, Diablo, StarCraft, and everything you're going to get about the same. And Blizzard does a really great job optimizing for Max. I haven't found any bugs or errors playing on my Mac or anything. It feels just like playing on my PC. It's really, really nice to know that there's a company out there that uh, cares about Mac users and supports them. Most other games are always beta clients or we're getting about 50 frames now going around here. The fans have definitely kicked in. You can I don't know if you can hear them, but I can. A little hot in the event areas, but that's why I have this nice cooler fan, so I can play on these high settings and I can go over that in another video. So definitely if you plan on doing some gaming on this thing, um, definitely going to do it. Um, let's try a different game that isn't Blizzard. So here we have Guild Wars 2, which is a pretty taxing game. A lot of great graphics in the game. Anyways, um, right now, they don't have a 1920 by 1200 sadly, so I have it at 1680 by 1050 and everything's at low. Going for a performance here, if anything. Uh, the fans definitely kick up really loud with this game, even on low settings. Sorry about that. Um, logging in a bad area. <laughs> Not a good decision, but I'm in the safe area now. Um, actually, I guess, I don't know if it was just in that area or what, but the fans are actually really nice and quiet now. The heat is fairly low. Um, we're getting pretty good FPS, but we are on low settings. And this is also the Mac beta client, so... Um, so it's going to be getting updated here and there, so if you have problems, probably why it's beta. Um, for the most part, games have been running well. Um, only games I've had trouble with are games on Steam. Um, some games will launch with a black or white screen. You can hear volume and stuff, but that's it. You To fix that, you usually have to go into the application folder itself and launch it from there. Do not launch it from Steam, and then it should work uh, perfectly. Um, Bioshock works great. Bastion, I had to do that with to fix it. And it's working great. Runs smoothly on here. Um, so why don't we go ahead and launch a software like Maya or something and see how that goes. Here we have our Maya 2014 suite. We're going to launch that. Um, good try for now. I have a code, but... purpose of the video. Here we have some new features with 2014. So I'm not going to get into like any heavy rendering, especially I don't really have any files on this Mac, the brand new Mac. I'm just see how smooth it is. Give an idea of the application, what it allows you to do. The 
is what is one of the reasons why I bought the Mac for is for programs like this. So if you're wondering if you're what this Mac can handle, if you I purposely wanted it for work. Um and some light gaming and it's gonna do just that, everything I need. And it's very portable, which is really nice. I don't want to be lugging around some big old giant thick laptop to work every day. This is very thin, lightweight. Fits right into my messenger bag that I have and won't weigh me down. Um so yeah, here's a little review of what it can do. Um people want to know more about this cooler um, I can definitely do a video on that and then once I maybe get working into my a little more uh, maybe do some higher rendering of to see how that goes anyways um, this is Eric Carter Warren thanks for watching